Hi friends, it's Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new for today's video. I have something that I haven't put up on my channel in a long time. It's what I eat in a day to lose weight. Um, if you've been watching my channel recently, you've heard me talk about how this summer my son Austin and I are tackling some health and wellness goals. His goal is to bulk up over the summer. He wants to gain some weight and muscle. My goal is to lose some weight this summer. I could lose half my body weight and still be in a healthy weight. I am the highest weight I've ever been, nearly 300 pounds. And though I have tried this weight loss journey before with some success and some not so success, <laughs> not so much success, um, we're trying it again. I'm gonna be counting calories, trying to live a more healthy lifestyle. And some of you have asked me to share the journey a little bit. So what I have for you is what I eat. And if you're interested in that, just keep on watching. So truth be told, this I'm titling this video, What I Eat in a Day, but this was actually filmed over the course of a couple of different days, just kind of picking and choosing which meals to share. I can't seem to get my act together enough to uh, remember to film every meal of a day. Um, I'm just not in the habit of doing that anymore, so I've got, you know, breakfast from one day, lunch from another day, dinner from another day, but... Um, it all equals out to be about the number of calories I'm aiming for in a day. I'm trying to go between 1,400 and 1,700, stay within that range. Um, and I try to eat right around the same number of calories for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So it's pretty good representation of the types of things I've been eating lately. I wanted to do a meal prep video this week. You guys just recently saw my grocery haul for the week, but it was just a scorching hot day, the day we did meal prep, and just getting through it was tough enough without having to stop and film everything. So I don't have a meal prep video for you this week. I'm hoping next week I'll have one to share, but this is just a look at the sort of things I've been eating lately to lose weight. Um, I'm trying just to drop 25 pounds this summer. We'll see how it goes. But um, if you're interested in seeing what I've been eating, you know, here we go. I'm gonna start with um, what I had right after the gym this morning. Okay, friends, so I just got home from the gym and I'm making my coffee. I typically in the morning will just drink water before the gym and at the gym, and I save my coffee for when I get home. That's what I've done today. So for the past couple of weeks, I've been doing protein coffee every day which is just a double shot of espresso. That's what's here in the bottom of this cup, this in some ice here. And the Nespresso pod that I used today was this one, La Completa Refinata. I've actually not tried this one before. Um, I've got lots of different Nespresso flavors. You may have seen my Nespresso haul a couple of weeks back, but basically it's just a double shot of espresso iced topped with a protein shake. Today I'm using vanilla, sometimes I use chocolate or caramel. These are the protein shakes by Equate, which are just like the Premier Protein. It's just like the store brand. Uh, they're a little bit cheaper and they are delicious. So I just top my double shot of espresso with the protein shake, give it a stir, and that is my protein coffee. So that's what I'm gonna have now, along with some more water. Um, I aim to get like right around 80-ish uh, ounces of water is kind of where I'm at right now, building up slowly to getting in more. Um, I started out drinking next to no water, so I just try to slowly add a little bit more every day. Um, so I'm gonna grab another bottle of water to go with my protein coffee, but, but yeah, that's gonna be my first uh, meal of the day. I guess it's not really a meal, but the first um, calories I'm putting into my belly and I've been looking forward to this since I got up this morning at 5.30 a.m. Wowza, yeah, we've been getting up early and going to the gym. Um, feels really good. 
whole shake goes in there and that's it that's my protein coffee super easy okay friends so for breakfast today i'm having the simplest meal you are going to see as i show you everything i ate this is nothing revolutionary um, not super creative i'm just choosing to eat things that are healthy low in calories and delicious um, i'm not really doing this video to teach you anything it's more just a layer of accountability for myself and to keep me motivated so for breakfast I have some green grapes here um, I just washed them and they are ready to go I've got a yogurt this is one of the great value light Greek vanilla yogurts and then I've got two hard-boiled eggs you can see that um, I overcooked them a little bit the yolks turned a little bit green but they still eat just fine, uh, good source of protein, super easy. When we did our meal prep, um, one of the things we did was boil eggs and these have been great for having on hand for breakfast when I don't feel like cooking or to have for a quick and easy snack. So I've just uh, peeled them, cut them in half and sprinkled a little bit of pink salt on there. And that is breakfast along with that protein coffee I showed you. Yum. It is lunchtime and we are sitting, getting ready to sit down and eat lunch. I wanted to show you guys the difference between Austin's lunch and my lunch. The base is the same. We did do meal prep this week. I didn't really film it. I got a couple of little clips, which I will insert here, but the day we did the meal prep, it was like 85 degrees in my house. It was the hottest day of the year so far and my air conditioner wasn't working properly. So we didn't do the full on meal prep video like I had planned. I will do that for you guys next week, I promise. But for this week, all I got was a couple of clips of the food like on the stove cooking while we were sweating to death. So um, we did burrito bowls this week and obviously Austin, who's 14 for those of you that don't know, has very different goals than I do. My goal is to slim down and lose weight. His goal is to bulk up. He wants to gain some weight and gain muscle. So he obviously has a much higher calorie allowance than I do, but the base is the same, as I said. So we've got some ground turkey. This is the festive brand ground turkey, which is super affordable. It's like $2 a pound. I think $2.10 a pound is what we paid. Um, and I was worried about the quality and how it was going to be, but it actually is really good. Um, there's a lot of water that kicks out of it, but it's really tasty. And um, so I have two ounces of turkey, which you wouldn't think would be a lot, but it actually spreads pretty far. And we season that up with taco seasoning. I believe Austin has twice as much of everything that I do. Is that accurate, Austin? Um, I think it's, depending on the thing, it's a little over, but about... At least twice the amount that I do. Um, but he's really focusing on lean proteins and making sure he's getting plenty of calories in. And like I said, my goal is to cut calories. So we have the ground turkey that's seasoned up with taco meat or taco seasoning. He's got regular white rice. I have cauliflower rice. Um, we've got black beans in there for some extra protein, lettuce. Uh, he's got tomato. I don't have tomato because I don't like tomato. Um, we have some salsa in mine. He chose not to have salsa. And then sour cream. He's got a double serving of the Fiesta Blend cheese from Great Value. I've got a single serving, which is about a third of a cup. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see everything in there since it's all buried by all this lettuce, but you can see down in there lots and lots of goodness and let me tell you this tastes amazing so the whole thing is right around 300 to 350 calories i believe for mine um i entered it all in and it was right in the neighborhood of like 280 i think but then i added cheese so i gotta still do the math and figure out exactly how many calories this is i'll put it up on the screen but it's a really hearty portion it really keeps me full the cauliflower rice is surprisingly good. It was my first time using it, but I enjoyed it. And Austin, of course, will be full for quite a while with this. Like, this is a heavy portion and um, giving him all of the macros that he needs. So that is lunch. I just thought it'd be fun to show you the difference in the size. Um, but 
when you consider the fact that he's aiming for twice as many calories as I am, it makes sense that his meal would be twice as big. So, there you go. That's lunch, and I'll check in with you guys at dinner time. Well, we might have a snack between then and now. So, I'll check in with you in a bit. Okay, my friends. So, here I am with my dinner. You guys, I told myself that I was only going to have the meatballs and I was going to make up a big salad to go with it. But I don't want to live in a world where I can't eat pasta. And this journey is not about depriving myself of the things that I love. So I did have a big salad and I totally forgot to film it. I was starving. I ate that while I was cooking the rest of the dinner. It was just romaine lettuce with um, cucumbers and a little bit of Olive Garden Italian dressing. Uh, so I don't have that to show you, but know that I did have that. Um, and now I'm going to have a serving of spaghetti here with six of the Great Value meatballs. These are just frozen meatballs from Walmart, already prepared. I just threw them in with some Great Value spaghetti sauce. This is going to be higher in calories, but so, so worth it. Like I said, pasta is one of my absolute favorite things. And everything in moderation, right? So... This is going to be my dinner along with that salad that I just devoured. Um, and I will check in with you guys in a little bit if I have anything else. And if not, we'll go ahead and come back and wrap up the video. So either way, I'll see you again. I'm gonna go enjoy this. Okay, so that is it for my what I eat in a day video. A little bit scattered and all over the place, but hopefully it gave you an idea of the sorts of things I have been eating to lose weight. I am down about seven pounds so far and feeling really great about that. I still have a long, long way to go, but um, you know, I'm excited for the future. Hopefully I can meet my goals and by sharing them with you, I, it'll help me stay motivated and maybe it'll motivate you as well. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I post new budgeting and lifestyle content here on my channel every single week. I'd love to have you come back and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.